guys, Rose here, long time no see. I wanted to do a video about the current decks that I actually have had. Um, the last couple months I've been I've been accruing a couple more decks to my collection and I wanted to kind of show you guys what's been new. Um, I know that there's probably a couple more additions, but um, I have them put away already and I don't want to go digging for them. So I'm just going to kind of show you the ones that I know I haven't really been um, working with yet. Um, but I will be, you will be seeing more of it in um, my client readings as well as videos. Um, so one of the first decks that I have is the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards by James Van Prague. Um, these cards are actually really, really cool looking. They are geometric shapes. Um, and they have little, a, for a phrase. Um, and it, it pretty much sparks you to work with your intuition. And it kind of gives you kind of like a lesson that day, something to think about for that day. And the backs of these cards are gorgeous. So lots of shapes um, and gold edges. Um, I've used these, these cards a couple times in readings, mostly for myself. Um, I've been, I had it by my bedside actually. And I would pull a card in the morning as I was getting ready for work. And um, I would read the message and kind of see, you know, what what that has to do with my day. How does that portray for my day? Um, and so really cool cards. Very simple. Very different from what I used to, you, what I'm used to working with. So these are the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards by James Van Prague. And the reason why I picked these up, I had been seeing them a lot at Barnes & Noble. Um, but I've been recently reading a lot of James's books. And um, I felt like I wanted to have something of his in my collection because I really enjoy his books. His writing is really amazing. The next deck I have is the Dragon Tarot. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen some of these pictures come up on my um on my Instagram. Um, and I actually created a dragon. The, it's called the Dragon's Lair. Um, and so it's a dragon theme reading because I have the Imperial Dragon Oracle cards um, that I'm going to be teaming up with. So I'll be using both decks for these dragon theme readings. Um, and basically, these cards uh, follow... They kind of follow the Rider Waite theme, um, but then they're also pretty intuitive in their own. Um, but they're dragons, and I thought that they were really cool. I've always wanted to have a dragon-themed deck in my collection, and so I thought that that was really cool. I finally found the deck in a shop. I had... Okay, sorry about that, guys. So I was um, really excited when I found the deck in a shop. I had seen it before, and then they must have sold out on it, and then it was back, so... Really happy to have this um, deck in my collection. Some of the um, the pip cards are actually really simple. So you'll have like, and this is the five of cups, so it'll show you know the five cups and and the dragon. You kind of want to pay attention to what the dragon is doing in each of the cards. That kind of gives you a clue um, as to what's you know what it means. But very intuitive. I've been finding that um, I will use my knowledge of the tarot with the general meanings, but I've also been tapping into my intuition with these with these cards specifically. Um, so they've been really touching me um, a lot, touching my heart when it comes to giving readings. I've already read for myself a few times with this deck, and I have found it to be very powerful. <laughs> so that is the Dragon's Tarot. Let's see. And then, like I said, I have the Imperial Dragon Oracle, which is basically the sister deck, I believe, to it. It matches, and um, I won't take all of them out, but very cute, um, beautiful pictures of the dragons. The cards are very large because they're a typical oracle, but I have found it matches basically like the Major Arcana. So there's 22 cards in the deck, um, and they do match the Major Arcana. So it's like a Majors deck. Basically, I've never owned one, but now I do. <laughs> so that is that. 
Um, another one that came in is the Tarot of the Cat People. So I've seen this deck floating around um, on Tumblr, and I was really curious about it. I was looking at pictures about um, of the cards online, and I realized I wanted to have another cat themed deck in my in my collection, kind of like the older look of this deck. It has a very older look to it. I'm not going to pull all of them out. But the, the backs of the cards are real cute. It's like a geometric -y looking cats. Um, so as you can see, you can read it both um, reverse and upright. And then the pictures are very pretty. Um, there's a cat in every photo. <laughs> and um, I believe these cards somewhat match a Rider Waite theme, but sometimes they don't. And I'm really loving that these decks that I've been purchasing lately don't follow it because it's really testing me to kind of look outside what I am usually used to. Um, and that is what helps spark the intuition. So I really love that um, that's these decks lately. <laughs> they don't um, follow the typical right away picture, you know, the imagery that I'm used to seeing with the decks that I'm usually used to working with. So that is the Tarot of the Cat People. And I bought it brand new. And it came with a book. So it came with the Tarot of the Cat People guidebook. And um, I haven't really looked at it much. But basically, it'll have the photo of the card and then a nice paragraph of each card. I haven't really picked it up to look at it because I've just kind of started reading with the with the cards automatically. Um, I find that when I do that, I kind of I come up with my own feelings and my own meanings for the cards before I actually look to see what the artist has to say about each card. And I find that that really helps me um, tap into my intuition a lot better because if I'm focusing on what the artist intended for that particular card, um, I kind of will go with that and then I won't, you know, listen to myself sometimes. So I like to really tap into my own intuition um, when I work with these decks, especially because I do not follow the right away imagery. I love that you know, it really gets me going to think, thinking of new possibilities. This next deck I have, I keep it in this cute little red velvet bag that I already owned. Um, this is by a Tumblr user that she goes by the um, the name Limonium. And it is the Florette Oracle. And she created this deck um, online. And she used the imagery by JJ Granville. And she created this Florette Oracle, and it's super cute. So the cards are pretty, like, poker-sized, um, and they're very pretty. The backs of them are roses, beautiful pink roses. So um, a very florally, girly, you know, feminine deck. And then you'll have the image, and then it'll say um, a couple key phrases to kind of spark your intuition. Like that. And um, this deck does not come with a guidebook or anything, so it is purely at your own discretion with what you feel the images are saying to you as well as the words. Very pretty. <laughs> um, and it's a beautiful deck to work with, especially this summer, summertime, springtime. I believe this is the deck that would, you know, I would definitely go to pool. Um, to work with more around that season if I do a season type of a deck <laughs> because the flowers are just um, that's what they make me feel but gorgeous artwork and just a real light a real light energy to the deck I love it so that is the Florette Oracle and um, if you go to um, Chan if you go to her Tumblr blog, limonium.tumblr.com, you will find a link um, to purchase her deck. The next one I have is the Gypsy Palace Tarot by Nora Huska. 
And this deck is absolutely does not follow the Rider weight imagery at all. Um, and I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I did not purchase the guidebook <laughs> because I feel like a guidebook would be very necessary for this kind of a deck. It is definitely one of those decks that you can use. You know, you work with your intuition, you touch base with the artwork, and you, you allow whatever you feel when you see these images come through to decipher your the meanings. But totally would love to see the artist's um, feelings and what she has to say about these images because some of these images, like this one, for example, this is the Four of Pentacles. Um, very powerful images and beautiful. Her artwork is gorgeous. And so I totally feel like a guidebook would be very necessary. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I wanted it. I wanted it to uh, focus. Um, I do think a guidebook would be very much necessary and um, useful. So if you guys are ever, you know, looking into purchasing this deck, um, the guidebook is, is there. It's available to purchase as well. I would highly recommend it. Um, but otherwise, if you're one of those artistically, you just, you, those art artist type people where you just can see in the abstract and your mind wanders, you know, this is one of those decks for you. This is a gorgeous deck. The colors are just popping in every single card. The characters that she created are just from your imagination and some of them from nightmares. Um, beautiful deck. And I've only been reading it for myself right now as I have been working with it, you know, sparingly. Um, but this is definitely a deck that I would pull out in the summertime, um, probably even in winter. I don't know. It's just one of those all-around decks. It's it's somewhat spooky, but at the same time, it's beautiful and vibrant and just full of life. Every card. Oh my God! Like this one. This is the the Nine of Swords. These creatures. These these characters that she created. Um, amazing. <laughs> so that is the Gypsy Palace Tarot. And oh, there's one of the cards are picking out. That would be the Star. Um, so Gypsy Palace Tarot, you could find her her stuff on Etsy. So check out Nora Huska's stuff. Um, and totally recommend the guidebook. I'm probably going to go and purchase the guidebook separately now because I do feel like this is one of those decks where it is totally necessary. Um, but it's a very beautiful deck, so highly recommend. And the cards are rather large for tarot, so I love that too. I, I like the bigger cards. Um, I'm going to save a particular one last, but this is one that I actually um, purchased not too long ago, and it came for me, and I, I opened it up yesterday. So if you guys follow my Instagram, you will know. This is the Madame, Madame Clara Fate Destiny Fortune. Um, her cards... <laughs> these cards are beautiful they the pictures online do not do it just justice the backs of the cards have a very like a fortune tallery type of a vibe I love the palm I love just I just love the look to this deck it's so pretty um the fronts of the cards very like just certain tones of color. They're not completely colorful, but very powerful in the way that they are um, created. And the cool thing about this deck is you can read it upright in reversal, and the reversal form actually has a specific message that you can read. Let's see. There we go. That you could read if it comes up upside down. And then in the, the upright, there is a separate message. <laughs> so really cool. Um, let me see what I could find here. Here's an eight of swords. So the imagery is, you know, it's, it's its own thing, but I would have to say it does follow, it does follow the right of weight, um, pretty well. And I do think that this is a great deck for beginners, people who are just starting on their tarot journey um, because of the the phrases at the very bottom of each card it will help you kind of remember um, and keep track of what each card means so I totally think that this is this is the moon I love it I totally think that this is a great deck for beginners 
So if you guys are learning the tarot, you are just starting out, I highly recommend this deck if you love the imagery and all that. Let's get this to focus. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> so that is um, Madame Clara's Fate, Destiny, and Fortune cards. And you can find um, this deck on Etsy as well. And then last but not least, I have been wanting this deck for quite some time. Um, I was going back and forth about it because I, at the time that I had first seen it, it was really, really popular. It still is popular, but it was booming. Everyone wanted this deck. So I held off on it because I thought, no, this, this probably isn't going to be a deck I'm going to work with. And then I ended up um, picking it up online. I ordered it because I really, really, really wanted to have it. And that is the Wild and Known Tarot. I purchased the deck and the guidebook. There was actually, when I at the time when I purchased this, it was there was a sale going on. So $10 was taken off the total, which made me so excited, because who doesn't love a sale? Um, the guidebook, I highly recommend. I am so happy that I purchased this guidebook. It is very helpful. Um, and I just love to see the perspective of the artist. You have a gorgeous giant image of the of the card. And then on the other side, you have a nice, um, just a very in-touch, insightful reading or message of each card. Um, and then you also have the key phrases as well at the top there. Beautiful deck. I'm keeping it in this cute little leopard print. Um, zip up baggie because it's animal theme. So this is the second edition of the Wild Unknown. There's a first edition, but of course that one is sold out um, and I didn't see anyone selling it. So I went ahead and purchased the second edition. The backs of the second edition look like this. So they look very similar to scales, I would say, like um, snake skin. And the cards are just so pretty. You have black and whites, then you have a pop of color. Um, and I've seen these images everywhere. They float around everywhere online. The death card is probably my favorite. Um, but again, like, I didn't think I was going to connect with this deck, to be honest with you. I, I have seen it in person because um, one of my friends actually owns it. And she let me see it. And, you know, I was going back and forth about it. But once I got it, this deck came into my life at the time that I needed it. Um, I, you know, been going through some stuff. And this deck, I've been doing the daily readings. I've been journaling about it. I actually went and bought a separate journal so I can keep track of these cards. And it just seemed like every single time I pulled a card... It spoke to my heart in a way because it was giving me the messages that I needed to hear pertaining to the events that have been taking place in my life, in my personal life. So it has been such a amazing, amazing connection that I've had with this deck. And I make, it makes me wonder why I didn't get it sooner. Look at this Ten of Swords. You have the sword going through the buffalo's eyes. <laughs> It's just so powerful. This is the the um, five of pentacles. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful deck. So anyone who is looking towards purchasing this deck, um, again, I recommend getting both the guidebook and the deck. It's just so powerful. And it's just so precious because to me, it came in my life. I knew that there was a reason why I was holding off on purchasing it. And it makes sense now why, because the reasons that it came into my life at the time that it did, it and the, the messages that it was giving me as I was pulling those cards really spoke to me. So it makes so much sense why it waited. It was meant to be. Sometimes it happens that way. So that is the wild unknown. And I'll show you one more. Let's see. Ooh. We'll end off with a spooky spider. So... Um, this is the Wild Unknown Tarot. This is the second edition. And totally recommend 
both the deck and the guidebook for this. Okay, guys, so that concludes all of the decks that I am currently working with that I have recently um, added to my collection. If you have any questions about any of the decks that I showed, leave a, a comment in, in the and leave a comment below and I will answer as best as I can, as quickly as I can. Um, but I am looking forward to more videos coming soon and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.